exploring the world of plants. Little Bear and Fairy Lily's magical garden adventure. It was a sunny afternoon and Little Bear was wandering through the forest. He noticed a cluster of tiny green sprouts pushing through the soil near his favorite tree. Little Bear, curious. Hmm, how do these little plants grow? They weren't here yesterday. Just then, a shimmer of light appeared and Fairy Lily fluttered beside him, her golden hair glowing under the sun. Fairy Lily, smiling. Hello, Little Bear. Plants are amazing. They grow from tiny seeds into all sorts of wonderful shapes and sizes. Would you like to explore the magical world of plants with me? Little Bear's eyes lit up with excitement. Little Bear, eager. Yes, please. I want to know how they grow and why they're so important. With a wave of her wand, Fairy Lily created a sparkling path that led them into a magical garden filled with extraordinary plants. In the garden, they came across a glowing seed resting on a soft patch of soil. Fairy Lily, pointing, this is where it all begins. Every plant starts as a seed. The seed wiggled and spoke in a tiny voice. Seed, cheerfully. Hello there. When I'm planted in the soil and watered, I grow roots to drink water and shoots to reach for the sun. Fairy Lily waved her wand and Little Bear watched as the seeds sprouted roots and a tiny green stem. Little Bear, amazed. Wow, you're alive, but what helps you grow so fast? Fairy Lily, sunlight, water, and the soil's nutrients are the magic ingredients that help plants grow. They walked further and met a tall, wise tree with leaves that shimmered like emeralds. Tree, in a deep voice. Greetings, Little Bear and Fairy Lily. I've been standing here for over 100 years, helping the forest breathe. Little Bear, curious, helping the forest breathe? How? Tree, we trees take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. That's how we help you and all the animals breathe fresh air. Fairy Lily nodded. And trees like this one provide shade, homes for animals, and even food like fruits and nuts. Little Bear looked up at the tree in awe. Little Bear, thoughtfully. Thank you, tree. You're amazing. Next, Fairy Lily brought Little Bear to a magical rainforest alive with vibrant colors and sounds. Vines hung from the trees, and flowers glowed softly in the dim light. Little Bear, excited. This place is so full of life. Why are there so many plants here? Fairy Lily, rainforests are warm and wet, making them the perfect home for plants. They're like the Earth's lungs, creating a lot of the oxygen we breathe. As they explored, a colorful parrot swooped down. Parrot, cheerfully. Welcome to the rainforest. Have you tried our tasty fruits? Plants here provide food for everyone. Little Bear happily sampled a sweet, juicy fruit handed to him by the parrot. Little Bear, grinning. This is delicious. Plants really are so important. After their adventure, Fairy Lily and Little Bear returned to the forest. Fairy Lily handed him a glowing seed. This is a magical seed. If you plant it and take care of it, it will grow into something special. Little Bear carefully planted the seed near his favorite tree, watered it, and smiled. Little Bear, happily, I'll take good care of it. Plants are amazing, and I want to help them grow. Fairy Lily, hovering. Remember, Little Bear, plants give us food, air, and beauty. Treat them with kindness, and they'll make the world a better place. As Fairy Lily disappeared in a sparkle of light, 
Little Bear lay under the stars, dreaming of the magical garden and all he had learned about plants. Subscribe to join Little Bear and Fairy Lily on more magical adventures. There's a whole world to explore. Now, Little Bear and Fairy Lily have some fun questions for you. Let us see if you can answer them. See you soon.